I grew up in this area and the creek was always part of our lives. When I was young, my parents would take me out canoeing and canoeing has become a big part of my life as an adult. Thankfully, I married somebody who agrees with that. Fishermen, because there's all kinds of fish in here, bass, everything from uh, wildlife like beaver and uh, a whole host of birds, uh, egrets, uh, bald eagles, uh, even a golden eagle over there on a tree uh, not too far from here. Uh, I couldn't believe what it was. I went home, got the binoculars, he was still there. It was a golden eagle, and I'm used to seeing a few of those in the Pinelands, but I haven't seen any up it's here. That people need to come and enjoy. They need mm -hmm. to come. You can ride a bike to it, you can hike along it, you can paddle it, you can take a jet ski up it, you can take a motorboat up it. People can fish it, they can hunt it. Um, there's lots of different activities that everybody does on the creek, so I mean, you know, let's enjoy it. Let's not be one of these... <clears throat> It's a state park, we can't access it. Or it's a county park, we can't access it. It's a water trail, we can't access it. That's everywhere, you don't, you don't want that. This is different, this is promote, promote and enhance public access through activity. Well, it's a group of people that are like-minded and we just enjoy kayaking, looking at the sites, you know, stopping and, and you know, exploring the areas. And I love all the animals, I do. And I love the scenery and I'd like to be able to take pictures of it because it's so pretty when you're on the water. I've lived here for over 30 years on the creek. Um, I've raised three kids. This is my youngest. <laughs> um, and I think having the advantages of growing up in such a serene and, and beautiful area has done nothing but made them better people. They have a great respect for the environment, for the world around them, and for each other. You know, what I really love about the Rancocas Creek is just its historical context, uh, not only in West Hampton Township, but in the southern Jersey region. When you think about the hustle and bustle of everyday life, and you have an opportunity to just unwind, if you will, put the mm -hmm. cell phone to the side, uh, and, and come back here and, and commune with nature, um, it, it gets no better than this. It, it has a human scale. It has a scale that whereby you can relate to individual plants, individual turns of the creek, individual trees, and it's an appreciation of the natural world that helps to pull things together. Not only my understanding here, but actually it pulls me together as a person and gives me a sense of wholeness that I don't have otherwise. Yes. And if you want to go further and go down to the Delaware River, you can. If you want to go to the Pine Barrens, you can. But it's right in the middle of where we live. And that, that is free public access is a value, an extreme value that we don't have in New Jersey too many places. And the wildlife that we see, the birds, all, you know, we get aquatic birds and land birds and, I mean, the kingfishers and the, the bald eagles, we see them all the time. It's a wide open stretch of um, relatively undeveloped land in a super densely populated area and um, it's really clean. And it was just a great place for people in the town uh, to come in and go for free and be together and relax and have fun. I, I love the creek just for what it brings to our town and, um, and my family. My, my children love the creek. They are always out here. My boys are fishing and they're bringing crumbs to the ducks. And we actually, they're finally at the age now where we can go kayaking. So we just started doing that. And it's so nice. And it's great, the, the flora and the fauna, the, 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 the majestic owls that we have at night, they're really incredible. They're magnificent. And we have red falcons and black vultures and hummingbirds, every kind of species that you could think of, egrets, um, cranes. We have a lovely crane right, that lives right behind you and his family. <laughs> um, and then the deer and the turkey and bunny rabbits. It's really fox. It's, it's, it's an exciting place to be. Really, As you head further out of Mount Holly, it starts off pretty slim. And then as it becomes more tidal, it opens up and it's just wide open. Um, marshland and uh, swamp. It's really nice. 
Uh, there's nothing I don't love about the creek. I, lo I love the tides. Um, I'm, I come here every in any season. It's very serene. You're like able to think and it's not filled with like car noises and other people. It's just very nice and relaxing. Um, I love being on it. Um, my friends and I, for since high school, have every Arbor Day canoed and camped at various points on the Rancocas. And as a result of that, I've grown to appreciate just how beautiful it is and um, how relaxing and challenging it is to be in nature. Um, I definitely loved growing up here. I'm not much of a city girl. I just love the serenity and the quiet and all of the animals. Mm -hmm. And I think it's definitely, as my mom said, made me a better person to be here. And Because the water is so nice and calm and you can go with your family and friends. I've geocached on the creek, I've paddled on the creek, munsied in the woods around the creek, um, just anything you can do, except hunt, I don't hunt, although I have friends that are hunters. Oh, living here is gorgeous. It's just, uh, it's like being on vacation all the time. It really is. You wake up in the morning and come and look out here and it's just so pleasant. And it's so peaceful. We're, you know, 25 minutes from downtown Philadelphia, and it's like, it's special. You know, I was trained as a biologist, and to see bald eagles and see them more and more all the time is, that's cool. It's very tranquil, it's very peaceful, um, it's very private, so it's almost like you're in your own personal space. It's, it's a beautiful environment but yet you have the malls and the stores within minutes. So it's the best of both worlds. And then uh, there's a feeder stream right down the creek that uh, we started, I put my 26 foot boat in here that has all the amenities. And this little spot, you just see what's out there. And that's what I love about the creek. You can go to places it looks like you're in the middle of nowhere in the Pine Barrens. Um, and it's right in a heavy populated area. It's, it's a gem. We love the places where, where there's nothing but trees and the occasional animal and lots of birds. And just, we sometimes think as we round a corner that maybe some Native Americans will be coming through and we're transported back hundreds of years because it's exactly the way that it was hundreds of years ago. And that's the most spectacular part. This is part of our history in New Jersey, part of our history in Burlington County, and you can experience it on the creek.